Boom, we're live. Welcome everybody. This is Brian Wilson from Fitness Together sharing with you the survivor guide to training from home, finding equipment from home. What can you use? I'm going to put a full checklist and a link uh, later below so that you guys can follow up with this. I think this is going to be very, very valuable whether you watch this live, watch this later. So sit back, relax, enjoy this show. Listen, so you may be that person that you know, has an awesome home gym and has a TRX. You maybe have, you know, you've got a TRX, you've got kettlebells, and, and you're set. Now, I would say that's probably a small percentage of, of clients. Many clients are in a situation, and just people out there, whether you're a client with us or not, people are out there that don't have um, a setup to work out from home, and this can be a big challenge. So. What are some things that you can use around your house, modifications to make a nice space to train in and to actually keep up with your workouts and to challenge yourself? You wanna be able to challenge yourself over the next four, six, eight weeks. All right, so we've, uh, if you just notice in my space here, this is our, my virtual training room. So I've got my camera, I've got a light, I'm shooting myself, I'm, I'm, we train clients just like that at a virtual level, but let's talk about your personal space here. So the first tip, number one, is I want you to create a workout space in your house. Now you may be living in New York City and you've got 750 square feet. You may live in a 4,000 square foot house. If you have a room that, you're, that is your workout room, mission critical right now is clean it out today. Like literally clean it out and make it a space that you can use. And I don't care if it's fancy, I want it to be a space you can use. So if you look at my space, um, no pun intended on Facebook here, you can see that this would be a space that I would actually be able to train in, and you really only need about, you know, 50 to 100 square feet. That's all I'm, that's all I'm really asking for, make sure this camera you can see me, is I'm asking for about 50 to 100 square feet to where you have space. Now, if you have carpet, great. That's actually gonna be great. You can put down a mat, put down a clean towel, put down something for that space, and that is gonna be your workout area for the next 30 days. Now, why do we do this? Um, I'll just back up and say it's so common. I've got a, a bike right next to me, I've got ellipticals, we've got treadmills. So often clients will actually purchase, uh, I don't know, I wanna say clients, but I, mean, I hear this commonly. Someone buys a bike, they buy a treadmill, they buy elliptical, and what it ends up becoming is a clothes hanger. People are throwing shirts on there, they're throwing dirty clothes. It basically becomes like a crap corner. Now, we do not want that to happen right now because this, this workout area is your sacred space. So we wanna keep it organized, keep it clean, and whatever equipment that you do have in your house right now that, that you're gonna find that I'm gonna suggest or, or, and or equipment you have, put in that little workout area. That's gonna be so much more helpful that as you go through a stressful day and everybody's dealing with stress, you know that you don't need to clean up the area before you train in the area. If you gotta clean up and you gotta do another thing before you work out, probably not gonna work out. So just listen, from years of experience, I promise you that's, that's step one. Step number two is let's find some equipment around your house that you can use. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you two items right off the bat. So a lot of times you'll see us trainers having you do like bands around your legs where you're pressing out with your legs. Instead of a band, you're like, I don't have a band. Dick's, Dick's doesn't have X, Y, and Z. Amazon sold out of this and that. You don't need to go buy bands. All the stuff I'm gonna tell you today you can find around your house. So get a belt, preferably a bigger belt or one of your bigger belts, and you're actually gonna use this for externally rotating your legs, pressing your legs out. And there's gonna be more videos on certain exercises and what you can do with these pieces of equipment, but just know that there's so much as a trainer we can do with a belt. So find your belt. Second thing is, hopefully you have not lost that uh, childlike wonder. That everybody should have some kind of a ball around their house, whether it's a volleyball, basketball, soccer ball, football, whether it's uh, some kind of a ball. I don't know, I'm out of balls. But find a ball, and this is gonna be something that we're gonna be able to squeeze in 
not only with our legs and internally rotate our legs and fire our inner thighs, but there's things we can do with our upper body too. So find a ball, that's gonna be the next piece of equipment. All right, now we're gonna get creative. So those of you that, those of you that um, enjoy using sliders, so sliders, now my old, old uh, layout of my old studio, we had carpet and you could actually put sliders and you could slide your legs down because one challenge is it's harder to find things to load your shoulders so you can load your shoulders in a plank position and then use sliders, either one of those. But you say to yourself, I don't have sliders. I don't have sliders. I get it. So you can use a magazine. We'll, we'll show Arnold right here with the skinny Terminator. I just couldn't believe that that would be Terminator, but we'll take that away. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll forgive him for that. All right, now you're gonna rip the cover off the magazine. So we got one slider, and I got an old uh, golfing digest. I'm gonna rip the cover off, off of this. Bam, now here's my sliders. I've got two sliders, Arnold Pro Golfer. Bam. Now, if that's only gonna work if you have carpet. If you don't have carpet, you could put a rug down or you could do those, you could do um, sliding your legs back and forth on some kind of a rug. That would be another option. Okay, what else? Next thing is, if and what we found is, if you have dumbbells of any kind, these are literally threes, and I'm, I'm not gonna overgeneralize, but like typically, you know, for females, if you have anything between three and 10, we can do a million different exercises with that. And then guys, if you have something between like 15 and, you know, 30 plus, we can do a lot of exercise with those. But you say to yourself, I don't have dumbbells. I get it. All right, so here's the solution. The solution is you're gonna find two of something that you have in your house. So two water bottles, I could do different exercises with water bottles. You say that's too light, I get it. All right, so you could get gallon, uh, milk jugs or gallons of water, preferably two gallons of water with handles, and then you can do multiple exercises with those. If you wanted to make it a little bit more challenging, you put sand in those as well, if you can get outside. But you wanna be able to do a number of dumbbell exercises, you will be able to do those if you find two items of the same exact weight around your house. So get creative, look around, find a couple things that can be makeshift dumbbells, and then we can do even hundreds of more exercises with those two dumbbells. All right, now I think the hardest challenge in a home workout is finding ways to do pull exercises, okay? So what we've used in the studio for um, our clients, i.e. we've had our clients on virtual training, we've had them get different items, is this basic band. So it's a basic band, handle on one side, handle on the other. What's nice about it is I can do a lot of pulling exercises that are harder to you know, manipulate without some kind of piece of equipment. So I could wrap this, this band, and I'm not gonna pull it hard or I'm gonna pull this bike over, but I'm gonna literally put this band, let me see if you can, I'll do it over here. I'm gonna put this band around a strap. So it's, you just wanna anchor it, make sure that the, the band is anchored around something that's, that's not gonna move. You could put it around a bed post um, on the floor. But I, I'm able to actually do pulling exercises where my shoulders are back and I'm extending and getting my back, my rhomboids, my lats to work with a band. I can do pressing exercises. I could stand on the loop. I can press over my head. I would be standing on that loop. I could do bicep curls. Um, I could even do a, a, like a chest press. So I could put this around a chair, around the back of a chair, and I can press. There's, a, there's honestly hundreds of exercises I can do with the band, but point being is, it's, it's gonna give me the option to do pulling exercises. And again, you say, I don't have one. I don't know where to get one. Okay, so here's a very, very good modification. You would get, and uh, you know, safety is number one, so you can get a bungee cord, if you have no equipment, you, have a, you can get a bungee cord. You make sure that the tips aren't sharp. You're gonna duct tape the handles so that they're nice and, nice and safe. 
and you could use a bungee cord to do pulling exercises. So now with this bungee and the two handles, I can wrap this around that, that um, bed post and I can do pulling exercises. I can put this same thing, I could put it around a chair. I could put it around a chair if I'm sitting down and then I can do pressing exercises. The key right now, honestly, is continuing to move and continue to work on balancing your body right now. Not on, you know, maxing out on your deadlift. A, who cares about that? But B, what's even more important is, especially if you like to lift heavy, this is like a balancing phase. Use this time as a balancing phase. I, I, I know a couple athletes that I paid a lot of attention to. One was my coach in high school, a guy named Eric Fenormawana that got the gold medal in the Olympics back in 2000. He was a professional beach volleyball. He was my, one of my coaches. But I always remember that he was very specific. He was an extremely uh, hard worker, fantastic athlete, 40 inch vertical, da da da. But what was interesting is he would do professional beach volleyball and season training, lifting, but he was always adamant about having about a four week window of, you know, kind of letting his body recover. He was big on that four week window. And I'm not saying do nothing, but I'm just saying he wasn't doing level 10 workouts. And I always remember Michael Jordan. We're going to see a lot more Michael Jordan. They're doing a big ESPN documentary, but um, Michael was the same way. He was big on having about four weeks where he was not playing intense basketball. He's not doing intense training. So this is a great phase in that year for you right now where you can do lighter weights, uh, work on form, work on your mechanics, work on balancing your body. This is a perfect time for it. Like, hey, we're, we're all in this together at this time. Um, last piece of equipment that you can definitely find around your house if you need to lift heavier and you literally do not have much at all, is find a backpack. So this backpack, I know my employees and some clients will be like, why do you carry around a backpack? I, I don't know, I just always do and I've got books in here. This backpack, so a normal ruck, uh, you know, if you're a Marine, it's 25 pound day pack, 75 pound night pack. That's a lot of weight. You can definitely find a backpack around the house, load it up with books, and get it somewhere between 20 and 40 pounds. Now, that bag, you can do a lot of things with the 40 pound weight. You know, whether that's one arm, if you need heavier, you could do, you could do a one arm row, so I could, I could easily get in a position, I'll step back a little bit to where I'm doing a modified on a chair, a one arm row, lifting this bag and lift that, uh, weight this bag as much as I need for me. I can do squats, weighted squats with the bag. Um, you honestly, you name it, you come up with a million activities, but that is a great start in terms of equipment that you have around your house, modifications that anybody can make to train right now in this space, in this time that we're in. Hope this helped. Um, if it did, great. If you want more information, I'm gonna have a, an extended guide and um, more tips coming soon. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay healthy, take care of your family, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself is helping the larger story, the larger community. As Bruce Lee said, we are what we are, but one family. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good morning and good night.